Alrighty. Now, all right, let's wait. Got to give it a second for everybody to get on. Hey, everybody, this is Jeff and Gracie. This is Daddy Daughter um, Live Reflections. We'll give everybody a chance to get on real quick. Today is Friday, September 30th, 2016. Uh, we actually just got back from the movie, what was the name of it? It Peculiar was People. Mick, M Mrs. Pick. Yeah. With Peculiar People. It was actually a really good movie by Tim Burton. It He did a good job. I still remember him doing Beetlejuices all the time. We got to love Beetlejuice. You like Beetlejuice, don't you? Mm hmm Yeah. So, basically, we went to that movie tonight. Uh, anyway, me and Gracie are going to have a good time tomorrow and everything. But we just want to tell everybody, I hope you all are doing awesome tonight. I hope you all are doing great. All right. And make sure... Whatever you do this weekend with your kids, make sure that you do it with them and it matters and it counts. Okay? So, and uh, tonight I did promise a friend of mine because we haven't been saying, we've been saying the prayers that we normally do, but I uh, haven't been saying the Hail Marys and Our Fathers and I promised a friend of mine that I would make sure to bring those back because people were wanting me to say those uh, even though I've got a lot of friends of different religions on here and some that don't have any religions. So um, tonight, real quick, I'm, I'm going to ask Gracie a couple questions. And she's going to tell you what I normally do. So Gracie, who are our heroes in life? Who are the heroes? Our heroes are our men and women in uniform and our police officers, our firefighters, our um, teachers, our... Um, Doctors, our nurses, our... Um, now, why are they our heroes? They are heroes because doctors help us and nurses help us get better and when, when we're sick. And and if, if they're sick, um, they still help us when we're sick. And teachers help us learn and to be better at math and science and spelling and other and reading mm -hmm. and firefighters help us when there's a fire and we need to get out quickly with no one getting hurt or yeah we just had a fire was it a couple days ago in quincy where the firefighters were able to get everybody out of the house and everybody was safe including the firefighters and everything that way. so we we have cases of this going on all the time don't we mm -hmm. okay uh, our police officers yep um, help us by, um, with the people. They help us get the bad people out of our country. Well, not out of our country. They basically come when we need them. They help on all kinds of things, either with bad people, you know, enforcing the law, making sure people are following the rules. Okay. Um, tonight we'll keep it short. But also don't forget about that every day there's 22 men and women who are committing suicide from our armed forces every day. Give me that calculator up there, will you? I just want to do something real quick to give you an idea how many people in a year are, have committed suicide just this, just from last year. We'll just say in a year. So take 22 okay, per day times 365 equals, that's around 8,000 of them that have committed suicide this year alone so far. From this year, from this time last year to this time this year. So take that by every year. So you guys, whenever you're out there, make sure you're not just faking a vet because you feel you have to. Make sure to tell them hi, tell them thank you. Let them know that you appreciate them. Let them know that they're important. You know, let them know they matter. There's a lot of veterans out there that are homeless today. There's a lot of them out there. And this one I haven't brought up. But there's a lot of them out there that are not getting to see their families. They're not getting to see their kids. You know, they're whatever, whether it's male or the female, you know, they're... They're not able to see their children, or they're overseas and they can't see their children, or they're fighting really bad court battles, or, you know, and these men and women are homeless. They they have done everything that was asked of them. The least we can do is actually be kind and be humble around them. Let them know that they're important. And if any of my brothers and sisters ever need any help, you know, you can always call me and ask me. Um... This weekend, make sure that you understand that this, because it's coming in the fall, all the apple orchards are open. So make sure that if you want to, get your kids out to the apple orchards. It's a great activity to do with your kids. Uh
Uh, take them out there. You take them to the pumpkin patches and stuff like that. Um, for everybody out there that is dealing with somebody with a terminal illness, you're right. I do go over this stuff, the same stuff every night because it's important. But I also pray for everybody every night too because it is important. Because I think that we're spending so much time on the news, they don't, they forget that real heroes do not make the TV. Real heroes will never be on Fox or CNN or MSNBC. Real heroes are the ones that do things humbly. And we just want to make sure people know that they matter and they're important. And that every day when you set a goal for yourself, you must strive to reach that goal. What do I always tell you? If you ever fall, what do you do, Gracie? You get right back up. What happens if you fall again? You get right back okay, up. Okay, and you fall again? You get right back up. What happens if you fall again? You get right back up. Okay, so that's just it. You keep moving forward. You keep getting back up. So tonight, my daughter would like, she's going to lead us in the prayer tonight, okay? So we're going to uh, ask God to watch out for everybody that has issues tonight or just to look after our friends and family and all of our heroes. Then we'll say in Our Father and a Hail Mary. And if you guys would join us, it'd be great. And then I will let you guys get back to your Friday evening, and I'm sure a lot of you are going to bed. Um, and I, we hope to see, for, see you guys tomorrow. So let's go ahead and everybody bow their head. Grace, you can fold your hands if you want. Um, dear God in heaven, please watch over everyone that is sick and hurting today that has depression or PTSD. Please be with those that are alone. Please be with those that are trying so hard in life to fight, whether it's court battles or just for their life. Please be with them and show them the, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Please be with all of our leaders all of our men and women in uniforms, police officers, firefighters, teachers, and school teachers, and everyone in our family. Know, God, that we are thankful for the roofs over our heads, the food in our stomach, the clothes on our backs. We are thankful for our children and our families. Please watch over them. Now, dear, now God, my daughter was, is going to lead us in the Lord's Prayer, then a Hail Mary, so everybody else can pray to you and let your prayers be heard. Gracie, would you... Lead us in the Our Father, please. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Our kingdom come, I will be done on earth as in heaven. I give, give us this day. day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary. Lord of grace, Lord's with thee. Now we blessed have, art thou among women. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. Holy Mary. Mother of God. Mother of God. Pray for us sinners. Pray for us sinners. Now the hour of our death. Now the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. So I hope everybody has a great night tonight. I hope you guys all take that special attention to your kids. Make sure you know that they know that you're proud of them and you love them. And talk with your kids. Sit down with them. Ask them how their day went. You know, take a part of their life. And remember, they're playing. That's their job. Their job is to play. Their job is to have fun. Their job is to make you always guessing, make you thinking, making you think outside the box. Build forts. Do whatever you can with them. But anyway, we're going to keep it short tonight. And to everybody on my team, you guys are all in our prayers. I know that this is September 30th. Everybody's getting those last few minutes of the, of the month in. And I want you to know that I'm proud of every single one of you guys. And I'm also very grateful for our leaders, Rich Ellerman. Okay, I'm very grateful for him. I'm very grateful for Brian Crothers. I'm very grateful for Alan Roman. I'm very grateful for Chris Hughes, Melissa Wilder. You know, I'm very grateful for our CEO, Jeff Bell, who has turned a company that was great into something that's magnificent. And I want to say a prayer, and I want everybody that's on my team and all the other teams out there that are pushing, you know, good job saving people. Congratulations. Every single day, you are making a difference. Forever, all my other friends, God bless each one of you guys. I'll talk to you guys all soon, okay? We'll talk to you later. Bye. I'll tell them all bye. Bye.